This is a multi-part video series consisting of picture-in-picture -picture footage of Arma 3 gameplay from both the Game Master's perspective and the participants of the mission. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the series as much as we enjoyed making it. If you like watching these episodes, maybe you'd like to join in too. Our team is looking for new members. Just click on the annotation on the screen or visit mgamers.com forward slash Arma Recruit. We'd love to have you join us. What's up guys, it's Funar from MultiplayerGamers.com. We're here with another Arma 3 Zeus mission, and we're on the island of Napf. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, it is a pretty, maybe now, even though I'm zoomed out, it's actually a pretty large terrain. Uh, the team is actually at a base in the south uh, western corner here. But as you can see, I have an island up here with a bunch of markers and stuff on it. Um, but before we get too far into what's going on, what do we have here today? We've got Conan 58, we got Icarus, we got Luzon, and we should be joined by a couple more members of the Multiplayer Gamers team. And um, so yeah, so this is where we're at right now. We're at NAMF. So they're currently at the base down here in the Southwest, like I said, but as we can see, there are a ton of markers up here. And this is ultimately where the team is going to be. Now, what the team is going to be doing, they're going to be assisting in the evacuation of this island. And I have marked out areas. So we have Overwatch South, Overwatch East, Overwatch North. We have communications, hangars, barracks, and offices as we can see here. And this team spawn point is right here um, in uh, just basically north uh, or east of the barracks, northeast of the barracks, I guess you could say. Um, but they're going to be evacuating or assisting the evacuation of this area. And first off, what they'll be evacuating is materials and supplies. And for the materials and supplies, we're actually going to be using um, one of my favorite new sets of objects, which are these PLP containers that we added um, quite a while ago, actually. Um, so we're going to use them. Um, we're going to do a couple of the plain black containers. Like so. We'll do an orange. I don't want this one. Well, you know, maybe we'll do one of those. We'll do a couple of these funny containers. So we got four larger containers, like these guys here. And this will all make sense shortly. And then I'm going to create a bunch of these guys. No, that's way too small. There we go. So we get six small containers. And I want to put a few more. probably hear my cat in the background. She apparently needs something. Don't exactly know what that something is, but she thinks she needs she thinks she needs something. Um, and then let's see what else am I going to put here? I want to put a few vehicles down too so that uh, we'll be moving vehicles. So for the vehicles um, use a couple of these guys right here. I have to move these forward a little bit. Put them closer to the intersection here. So there's a series of cargo containers and there's a handful of vehicles. Do 
and see if there's anything else I want to add. Actually, do these. And then a couple of, actually this is the one I want. I don't want these. Put a couple of benches down for civilian extract, like so. So <clears throat> the mission is that the team is going to be assisting in the evacuation of this base. Um, so this this entire base and all these points are going to be under siege. Now the ones they're primarily interested in are the barracks, the hangar, and the offices. Offices. Um, the Overwatch North or Overwatch points will be controlled by AI. Um, whether or not the AI is actually in the game or not, I haven't decided yet, um, but the team will really have no reason to go to those points. Um, same thing with communications. Um, it'll be an option, uh, but once communications are lost, uh, there will be uh, ramifications to that, um, which will be explained uh, when the team begins. Now, how is the team going to fend off, uh, fend off the, uh, the attack? So I'm going to actually give them a few vehicles. And I think what we'll give them is that what I want? Yeah. I'm gonna give them a couple of striders. But more importantly, I'm gonna give them a number of static weapons which they will be allowed to utilize. And by utilize, I mean they'll actually have to figure out where they want to put them. So that's some of them. Let's go, I want some of the US static weapon, or Marine Corps rather, static weapons. Um, we'll go ahead and give them mortars. I'm going to put one of these here, one of them here, one of them here. So they'll have the opportunity, and the reason I'm putting these here, they'll have the opportunity actually to, um, to move these. So they'll probably end up loading them up in the uh, striders, and then they'll be allowed to actually move them to wherever they want to put them. And they'll have a period of time um, for that. So the, the invasion's not going to start right away. We're going to let the pilot get an opportunity to move um, move units, move, uh, move a couple cargo containers back and forth. Um, to kind of get uh, the feel uh, for the whole uh, the, the sling loading and so forth. Um, we've done a lot of sling loading offline and in test, and uh, we do have a number of pilots capable of doing it and very comfortable um, with doing it. So looking forward to seeing some of that. I'm intentionally going to put more... more containers and supplies um, than is going to be possible for them to actually evacuate. Here we go. 
So there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I don't anticipate they're going to get all of it out of the base because they're essentially, the pilot's going to have to essentially go from the main base here all the way over here um, in order to pick up uh, the materials and then drop them off. So I don't anticipate um, all of this, all of these materials getting, uh, getting extracted out. Uh, that would make for a very long mission and probably a very boring mission um, for the pilot. So um, that's not going to be the case. But I do want to kind of give a sense of, holy crap, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. So, just like so. So that'll be, uh, that'll be it. So I'm not going to spawn any AI this time. Uh, with the exception of, I have spawned AI in the, whoops. I have spawned AI reinforcements inside these little transport containers. As we can see, these are U.S. Marines in here, which our pilot will be able to actually bring these transport containers to uh, the fight. And then those guys will basically be assisting um, with the battle as reinforcement. So before I call the setup done... And one other thing I want to do is, oh wait, I'm in the wrong section, here we go. I wanted to drop some guys down at each of my points. go. So we got a bunch of guys at our points. And so this island, uh, the island to the east here, we're just completely ignoring. The uh, airport, we could have used the airport here to go back and forth, um, but I wanted to put in uh, some intentional delays in it, which is why we chose this island, or this uh, area. Um, this is definitely a much larger um, distance than the other one, but uh, I think it'll make for an interesting mission. So guys, that is the setup, a really short setup um, than we have done in the past. Um, but like I said, there's no need to spawn AI at this point. We'll do that um, as the mission unfolds. All right, guys, we well, hope you enjoyed the setup. Hope you enjoy this mission. We'll see you in part two. And thanks for watching, guys.